Hey, what up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Wine Wednesday. Happy Wine Wednesday. I am your host, J. Tom Gunter, owner of Grapes and Sam Publishing. Yo, we're back for another one. I hope everybody's doing well. Happy Wine Wednesday, everybody. Um, it's been a good week thus far. Last week was the busiest week. Uh, it was the busiest week that we ever had, you know, every single year. Uh, JP Morgan came out. And so, yeah, we was rocking. We had private events uh, the whole week, and it was just a really busy week, but it was fun. And we got to, we got to uh, pour a lot of wine, talk a lot, a lot about wine, and enjoy um, great conversations and stuff. So it was a good time. Uh, before I get into the video today, just so you know, my birthday is the 26th of January. And I normally don't do this. Um, but I'm thinking, you know, since I'm going to be launching some new, uh, gear, some new, uh, some new artwork on my, uh, Etsy store and also some new, uh, some new shirts, um, and hoodies, I'm going to do this thing for my birthday. Um, so if you ever want to give me a present, this is when you can give me a present, but it'll be something for you. Um, Go check out my online store on the 26th of January. It's gonna actually gonna be from um, it's gonna be this from this Friday all the way up to the 26th of January. Um, we're gonna I'm gonna be doing a 15% off of everything on the store uh, just to kind of celebrate my birthday. Um, and yeah, so go check that out. Uh, take advantage of the sale. I really think you guys will like the art, the art stuff. It's art. It's wine inspired art, and I got some really cool pieces up, and also some wearable art. Uh, some of those stuff that you're gonna see that you can get on canvas. You also can get as, if you don't want to get a canvas, you can get it on a t-shirt, um, and with little funny things under it. So anyway, um, I'll be I'll be launching that soon. Um, and yeah, um, let's talk about the person I want to um, highlight today. Um, the person I'm going to highlight today is my homeboy, Sean Brady. Um, he is a wine influencer. Uh, he's, uh, we had a video thing we were doing for a long time called Total Winos, and I think we're going to bring that back eventually. But right now, you know, it's just been really busy. Um, and, I, you know, I got a kid coming, so I'm trying to figure things out. Um, but he's a wonderful person to work with. I've, I've enjoyed his company numerous times. I love drinking wine with the guy. I love talking about life with the guy. Um, and go check out what he's doing, man. He has a couple different um, Instagram handles. Uh, the one that I uh, think is a good one is going to be Brady Eats, um, and I'll have that in the in, the, in my bio or my um, description. Um, also, he has neighbor neighborhood tasting society is another one that he he goes uh, by, and of course, us Total Winos. So uh, check him out. Um, I think you'll like his content. He does a lot of cooking and a lot of food stuff. It's just really good stuff. So shout out to, Sh to Sean. Um, but you guys are not here for all that. You're here for the wine. So let's get into the wine. Let's get into the wine. Uh, today, we are talking about the Bossier, um 20 2019 uh, El Dorado. This is a Cabernet Franc. You know, I like Cabernet Franc. Here's the label right here. So uh, kind of a spoiler alert. Um, I have tried this wine. We I actually got this wine for Eno because uh, I, you know, it, I tasted it and I really, really dug it. Um, this is one of the better values, I think, at Eno Wine Bar in San Francisco. If you get a chance to go by Eno and you want to get a glass, go grab one. It's, I mean, this is awesome juice. But I want to, I want to do a, res, a view, review of it online. I mean, on in front of the camera, uh, so you guys can see uh, this the breakdown of this wine. So let's get right into it. On the nose. So I immediately get black cherry and coffee grounds. That's the first thing that's jumping out at me. There's a bit of a um, secondary, like, kind of, um, I would say, pencil shavings thing going on here. Some cherry, it's like cherry leather. Like this cherry, like, um, like I would say, more on the new car smell leather. Like, you know, that kind of p nice polished... Uh, um, leather in a car in a brand new car there there is also a, a bit of sun-kissed like uh soil going on here like a hot on a on a hot day uh the sun beaming down on the soil um, i'm definitely catching a little bit of that kind of aroma coming out of the glass even like a, a little bit of a cigar box uh cigar like tobacco thing going on here too and like green herbs let's go ahead and taste and see if things translate into the palate let's talk structure first Medium body, kind of like teetering on getting onto the medium plus, but I, I'm gonna say this is more medium body. Tannins are medium. Also, 
a little bit, like kind of in the, yeah, I'm going to say medium tannin too. Acid is, this is getting a little higher to like the medium plus range. It's not medium plus, but it's like right there um, at the kind of edge of medium. So the attack on this wine is that black cherry up front that I was talking about. As it progresses down your palate, you get a little bit more of that kind of, um, kind of uh, earthy, a little bit more of a, like a um, tobacco uh, cigar thing going on in the mid palate. Um, and then on the finish, you get all that kind of like, um, kind of cocoa nib, uh, also with the coffee grounds thing that's it's on the finish. Very, this is quite complex, medium body. This is fun. Uh, this is not overly, this is not uh, going to be something that you're going to write a dissertation about, but this is also, but this is also something that uh, gives you a little bit more than just one note. This has some complexity to it, but it's not, it doesn't take itself too serious. That's the way I want to put it. There's a bit of that green herb thing that's starting to pop now in the third quarter on the fin to the finish. I really, really like this wine. Um, very delicious and if you're a medium body wine drinker that wants to try something that um has some complexity but it doesn't take itself too uh serious this is a great wine to check out guys i really really like this cabernet franc um if i'm scoring this wine stay tuned wine wednesday will be right back if you like poetry i have two books for you from grapes and sand publishing we have voice of truth and then we have Thieves in the Night. Go check them out. Go to grapesandsand.com or click on the link in my bio. Cheers, guys. Now back to the show. I'm probably going to go 89 plus on this. This is about 89 plus in my opinion. Um, yeah, 89 plus And it's a really, really good price at over, over at Eno. So come check us out. Um, I love to pour a glass for you and talk about it. Um, other than that, my Niners are playing this week. Uh, you see, I got the colors on the Wino hat, the my uh, Niner inspired Wino hat. Go Niners! Let's rock out! And um, guys, uh, question of the day: um, between a uh, versus between Cabernet Franc and Merlot, which one do you pick? Guys, until next time, cheers.